Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up RAID 0. So here we have my Mac Mini server, and uh, this is rocking a quad-core i7. Originally, it has two hard drives in it, which are at 500 gigs and 7200 RPMs. So they're pretty fast. Um, when you put those in RAID 0, it's pretty awesome. Um, but today, I'm going to be showing you how to put RAID 0, and I'm going to be using Firewire and the internal SATA. So I recently upgraded to a solid state drive. So uh, what this allows me to do is now I can use a solid state for booting and opening extensive applications really fast, but I can also have the storage on the RAID 0, which is still pretty fast. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up Disk Utility. Uh, disk Utility is on um, all Macs, and uh, you can just find it by just searching Disk Utility up here in the top. Um, and yeah, so you will need two hard drives. Um, typically, you use two of the same, and usually use them when they're on the uh, same uh, the same interface. Uh, but I actually have a weird instance where I can actually use it. Um, so I have my hard drive hooked up through Firewire, and I have one hooked up through SATA. Um, I have had this working, and it's actually really cool that I can use one on internal and one outside. So uh, you can see that we have um, my 500 gig. This is this one's on the SATA, and then this one is on Firewire. It seems to not affect the performance. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to do RAID zero and striped. Um, I'll also show you how to do mirrored, but I'm not going to be doing that for this video. So uh, what you're going to want to do is just click on one of the hard drives. You're going to want to go over to this RAID tab right here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and make a name for it. So we're going to do uh, storage because this is going to storage all my uh, music and all that. And then you're going to see right here, we're going to want to go with a journaled. And then you can see right here that we can do stripe, uh, concentrated disk set, and uh, typically you use uh, mirrored RAID set. If you want to just simply uh, make those two hard drives the same, so if one fails, you have a backup, a complete backup. So uh, striped will give you the most performance, mirrored is just for safekeeping. Uh, you should watch out those striped, make sure you back up frequently, because striped is actually very dangerous. Uh, sometimes it will crap out, because it is using those hard drives at maximum performance. Uh, so yes, that is, uh, it will, um, it is a little risky. So uh, we're going to do this, and we're going to drag one of the hard drives right in here. And then we're going to go over to our Firewire set, and we can got it right there. So it is awesome that we can do it through multiple interfaces. So I guess if you want to use it through USB, you could. Um, and then the last thing to do, if you go down here in Options, so you just have to mess around with the RAID block size. I've been using 32, and it ran fine. Um, I think 256 is best if you're rend always rendering video, uh, large video files. But we're going to go with 32. Um, basically, it's just uh, best to Google search what you have in the best performance that other people have seen. I'm just going to go with 32. We're going to click OK. And uh, you'll see this create button down here. And uh, yes, so we click that, create. And it won't take very long just because the, these drives are clear. And uh, they have to be cleared for this. Uh, so here we go. We're creating that RAID slice. And the best thing about RAID 0 is it's super fast. And you uh, get the total of that drive plus the other drive. So you have a total of uh, about a terabit um, if you're using two five five hundred gigs, if you're using two terabits, uh, two two terabit drives, you uh, potentially have four terabit in one drive. Plus, it's super fast. So now, if we go over here and uh, we'll just drag my drag my finder wi window over, and you can see that we have this storage RAID slice. So uh, it's really nice that you can go ahead and make a RAID zero, and uh, this is super fast. A great setup actually I have a solid state drive for booting and then have a, a raid slice for storage so guys I hope i hope you enjoyed this video rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video